Hello everybody, welcome to a custom story tutorial. Uh, sorry I haven't made one in a while. Been doing game stuff, but in this tutorial I'm going to teach you guys how to make a basic map in the level editor. And if we have time, maybe some scripting. So, yeah. So, when we left off, we went to our directory and got all our stuff custom stories tutorial and we made our basic setup so and we have our dot map file so once you have the leveler to download you can click that and drag it up here sorry if you can't see the buttons down here uh, this thing blocking it and it won't go into hide for some reason because I don't know but sorry about that um, so you'll see four basic views. As you can see, it says front, top, right view, and perspective. I recommend perspective. It is the easiest to use. If you don't know how to do this, like what I'm doing, zoom in to it, or make the whole, just, uh, hover over it until you see the red border. Then press spacebar, and you should get there. Um, okay, some basic controls so you know how to move around. If you want to turn like so, like this, uh, you hold Alt and then uh, click your left mouse button and just hold it and drag. Uh, want to highlight something? Same as highlighting anything. If you want to move around like this, uh, hold Alt, uh, the scroll button, and just move your mouse around it should drag around and zoom in and out uh scroll scroll button and that's pretty much it I think hope I'm not missing anything for controls so we're gonna set up our map make sure you were in your uh tutor uh, your dot map file so open and this is my one I've been working on so you'll go to tutorial or whatever your thing is dot map load file you see tutorial dot map so first of all you we will need to most people create the ground for the floor first but i think it's simpler to create the the walls first so you know where your r zone is or your range of where your floor is so you don't o overdo it or underdo it so yeah so you will go to static objects well first of all let me uh explain these level these uh tabs. So the select button is to select things in your uh map. Lights is lights. Billboards is like the glow of a light or gleam that's coming out of it. Particles is like dust and stuff like that. Sounds explains itself. Static objects is like walls and stuff like that. Uh entities like, you know, lanterns, furniture, all that. Areas like script areas, uh, or areas that have a special function to do something, and other areas. Primitives is like a floor. You can make floor. You can make water. Stuff like that. Decales. Uh, I think that's fire. Or other decales. Smoke. Fog areas. Fog. And combined, combined stuff. <laughs> Sorry, my brief descriptions. Okay, so we go into static objects. Uh, I recommend going to Mansion if you're starting off. Uh, these are all the different types of uh, uh, items this category has. I go to Mansion Base, and you'll see all these for. There's not going to be floor here, so ceiling, special, special walls, and special stuff. I recommend going to walls, uh, depending on the wall you want to use. Default two, I like default two better. So we will just create a room. So you press Q to rotate it, and you can hold down the left mouse button if you don't know which way. See, if you have the wrong way, it'll be like that where you can't really see it. Just press Q, and then you will see it. You'll start to appear. So just let go and move around. Do it again. You can also go to Select Tool, select your um, the wall. Control D will duplicate it, and just drag it over. So it's like that. Okay, so control D, press W if you want to rotate it, 
and just do that. Q to move it or the this one blue translate. And you can also just press these to make it easier. If you don't want to be be confused on buttons. So make these make sure you don't have any wall glitches or texture overlapping textures or objects like you can see here on this corner there you can see kind of a texture thing uh like right here most people uh put pillars there to cover it so people can't see it uh at least i do that so yeah so let's finish creating our little bedroom if you want it smaller you can make it smaller i think mine's big uh there's Okay, so make that. Make your walls. And. Sorry if I'm too slow. I'm, I like to take my time. Most people don't. Well, well some people. <laughs> okay, so almost done here. So I will just be creating a simple room to start off. As you know, like I told you a billion trillion times. Uh, yeah. Uh, if you want to save, like always, Control S. If you're on Apple or Mac, Command S. So almost done. One more wall. Oh my God, we're there. Okay, as you can see, there's no overlapping textures. If you see some, like, lines and it looks really weird, I recommend moving it around. Make sure it looks right. So once you have this, uh, we can build our floor. So you'll go to Primitives. You will go to where it says Material. Make sure it's at Plane. Press the dot dot dot, or whatever. Then you'll see all these, uh, categories. And go to, or er, whatever. It should be in Reddest if you're not. Uh, go to static objects and choose which one you're in. I'm in mansion base. Uh, go to floor. You'll see these two uh, common types: the underscore uh, underscore floor dot mat and mansion base underscore floor dot boards. I like this one; it looks better. But you can choose any one you want. So you'll go. These grid lines help you a lot. So you'll just drag over here. Make sure it's covering the whole area and let go as you can see the wood is there and if you want to make a ceiling get your uh, select tool uh, command D to your floor and drag it up to where the ceiling is uh, I recommend this way it's easier for me as you can see you can still see this black sky if you're in the game so you want to flip it over and to make it look it like it's flat and drag it back over this over the area make sure you're not missing anything so you can see the what now that looks weird huh there's four of same in material so go to perimeter once you select the ceiling and go to the dot and then go back by press double clicking this go to ceiling then you'll have these uh, that doesn't look like a ceiling to me so I'm not going to pick that I'm going to pick this one it looks best to match it so as you can see it looks way better so you got your ceiling and you could still see it so once you have that you want to decorate your place right actually you can actually you can you can add a door here if you want uh you can either delete it and go back to static objects and go to doorway 02 or you can just change the material or change it like yeah I'm so bad at rotating I'm sorry like that and then you will get uh, sorry I'm going off topic a little bit but you'll just go make sure this is even and then go like that and then add your door uh, but it's not focused on that right now uh, so now you want to add some furniture, make it look like nice. You don't want to have someone just start here and, you know, look at a blank room. 
But before we, yeah, well, we'll do the furniture first. So go to your entities, uh, and you'll see all these. Uh, go to uh, furniture, and you will see all these nice selections. I will select bed and nice. Is that nice uh, bed? I will put it right here. Make sure it's not colliding with the wall because that would look weird. And as you can see, we have a bed. And it looks very nice. There's also other sections. Uh, like so. We can add a little cabinet. N not the one you put jump scares out of. We can add like a cabinet right here. Like most people like. Yeah, look very nice. Then we can add some drawers. And once you have the drawers, they will look um backwards. It will look like it's below the ground. So you will just need to drag that up. Go to your select tool, select it, and just drag it up till it's on the floor, not levitating. So if you want more than that, I will just move it over a tiny bit. Duplicate it. Um, and then you can go back. I will wanna, I'm just going to make this as nice as possible in as little time. I'm going to add a little nightstand here. Here. And then you can decorate whatever you <laughs> whatever way you want. But this is, I'm just going to just quickly. So, I have a desk right here. Make sure it's colliding with the wall right there. You don't want it to do that. Uh, there. And you will see it has that work desk. It's really weird how to place this, place it like that. And select it. I have, it's really annoying selecting stuff because it selects random objects. If you select it wrong. Okay, I'm just gonna. Move, I just want to move this over, so you have that, and you have a really boring desk. So you're just gonna get a nice wooden chair and place it however you would like. The desk. I like to make it look like it's someone just sat there. Makes it spookier, if you know what I mean. Probably not. Maybe I don't know. It's up to you. It's who you are. Sorry, being weird now. Okay, so you will get your piano and just place it wherever you would like. You don't have to put a piano, I'm just like putting. Okay. So, we have a nice, comfortable room. And let's add. Let's go ahead and go to gameplay. And I'm just going to add. Um. Nice little carpet. Just to make it look better. So, and that looks really small. So I'm I'm going to go to scale or E and just widen it out. It may look weird, but it looks good. So, that looks way better. But it's not going to look like this in game. It's not going to be all bright and nice like this. But before we get there, I'm going to add a door because it looks it matters on person looks weird to me. So, got a mansion should be right there. Rotate it. Go right in the middle. And bam, you have a door. Can't see that because, yeah. I don't, doors are annoying. Okay, better. Actually, oh my god, I'm so bad at it. <laughs> I did it the right the first time. I'm sorry, guys. I'm wasting time. Okay. So, once we got that, it's not going to look like this in game. Why do you say that? Um, so, you see these, uh, A, L, A, L, T, and there's would be one you see it below the A, it's like PT or something like that. Uh, those are all for lighting purposes so the creator can see wh what he's doing. If those aren't on, this is what it's going to look like in game. So the person wouldn't even be able to see a thing. So what you got to do is, it depends on if, what kind of light you want to make because, I'm having trouble clicking, okay there we go. Depends on which light you want to make, so go to lights. Most people, when they're first starting out, they make box lights. Uh, 
um, because it, it's better, it's easier. So I will show you that. So go to box it, create it in the middle of the room or wherever you want it, and just go to and go to scale, and just widen out the the width of the room, and then the height of the room, really higher. I guess as you can see, it looks very very bright. Um. Then it that is a little too bright if you know what I mean so go to diffuse color and uh, try point four so we don't want a blue point four and point two or no point two that looks quite weird huh we don't want it to I'm trying to remember this as well I'm sorry folks um, we want it to look kind of like a grayish. Like that. That looks good. So let's go ahead and unlight everything. I'm having trouble. Okay. As you can see, that looks better. Uh, you can also lighten it up. You can use this. Um, you can... Do that. Make it look... Oh, that looks green, though. You can also do it like a more detailed way where you can make point lights. Um, they I I recommend those, but they they look better to me. It is like um, so you get a point light and you would um do that and grab the your point light and as you can see it looks like that. So you. you it's up to you to diffuse the color. You go to point and um, your radius, and it makes a little s light. It's like a point. I'm trying to darken this part. Okay, as you can see, it looks it looks a little cooler. Like it's. I'm not gonna diffuse the color on this because I don't want to. I'm like going way over time, so. Try this as quickly as possible. It kind of looks better if you diffuse color, so make it look not just white and stuff. It also looks kind of strange. Um, it's up to you the way you do it. You could do it point lights, box lights, spotlights. Spotlights I don't really recommend unless you're doing a window. But it's up to you. It's your custom story. You can do what you want. So there we go. Um, you're done with this. Uh, so uh, remember to right. Oh, one more thing before you go. If you try to play this right now, you will just spawn and fall through the ground because you do not have a player start area. So you will need to go to area areas and see if that script go all the way down until you see player start and just click where you want your player to start. I'll put mine over here and as you can see it's right there where, you, where my player is going to start. So we are done. I will save that. Command S. Control S. Um, remember to comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you create your map. Good luck on your custom story. Thanks for watching.